Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Toying Lab and welcome to a new post bag. Now as you can see there's a big pile of post bags that we're going to open today. So let's get started right away. Now I've cheated a little bit. I accidentally opened this post bag because I thought that it was another post bag that I used and didn't make much of an entertainment video for you. So I've already opened this and this is a, a microwave radar body sensing module. So it uses microwave um, waves to actually detect if someone's near the sensor or not. Let's go ahead and open the next package. In order to do that we need to assemble our trusty old knife. Now, this is a fingerprint sensor. So you'll need to put your finger on here. It says 3.3 volts, D minus D positive and ground, which is other than USB being 5 volt, exactly the same as USB. So they supply a connector. So there are a lot more wires than just these four pads. So I'm not sure what the pinout is of these wires. Let's open this bigger package. I'm not sure what's inside of here actually. There's tape to go. Oh did this come in an AliExpress package? Yes it did. Oh wow. I bought this on eBay so yeah they actually just uh, bought it from AliExpress themselves. This is a spark plug socket and this socket is supposed to attach to the spark plug so you can just pull it out without having to actually uh, fiddle around with your hands or with a set of tweezers. This is the magnetic ring that you can see here on the inside. So I'm uh, really looking forward to see how this works on my car. As it has 24 spark plugs. I think this is a more than welcome addition to my uh, toolkit. So really good. I will leave a link down below of all the items. On to the next one which is rather big. Now this obviously is a combined uh, package with a lot of other packages inside of here. So let's just open this up. So I've marked all of the items that are inside of this package so that you won't see my address. So let's collect all the... Oh, there's a few one more. Collect everything. So there we go. So let's remove this one and let's start by with this one. Tiny little package. Let's check it out. Oh, it's empty. Oh, it fell out of the packaging. So it's this guy, this little guy. It's quite a tiny module actually. Let's remove it from the go and this is what I'm assuming also a detector a microwave radar detector it looks like it and it's funny because it's it's a double stacked PCB they're using pin headers to stack both PCBs on top of each other it's quite an interesting way actually and it saves a lot of uh, a lot of space. Otherwise, these have to be on this board, which makes this board a little bit bigger. So yeah, this is also a radar module. So let's put it aside and let's continue with the next one, which is this yellow envelope. Let's see what's inside of this thing also a module. There are a lot of modules in this post bag, which is correct. 
and this one you might have already guessed it is also a radar module radar detection module so I do see that this hasn't been the best reflow job look this chip over here it's not really reflow that good but yeah radar module now this is a similar so this is a canned radar sensor I'm really wondering what's behind this can it feels rather light and you can actually see some of the antennas I assume these are and I think that there is no active logic on this and that we need to sample it ourselves using a microcontroller or such and process the data that this gives us back I'm really wondering how we can interface with this since the pins aren't labeled either so looking forward to that so let's continue with this little plastic envelope oh this just contains another radar sensor module and it's an aluminum can Oh, it's bent. I was about to say which is not soldered, but it's bent. Bent around the PCB. With the same funky looking antennas as the other one. And this is labeled. This is labeled ground. 5 volts and EF. I think this stands for interface. So again, another radar module. We're running out of modules. We're running out of packages, so let's continue with this one. Quite a repetitive module uh, post back. Is this, this is. Yeah, we've already had this. I've ordered it twice by accident. We're almost on to the last one. Open this up. We even need to solder the pins ourselves. Now this is also a radar module um, that's used to detect bodies. So quite nifty, and it has a status LED, which we can use, I assume, to to see if this module has detected someone. A further in-depth review of all of these modules will come in a separate video. So I'm not sure what you did here and what you didn't hear because the microphone of my camera died. I'm going to create a video, a separate video, where I will test all of these modules and the main goal of this video is to analyze which module is the best for presence detection to be used in a home automation system. So you can detect the presence inside of a single room without the need of uh, PIRs. So I'll keep you updated on this video and let's continue with the final package that I have today. The final package doesn't really have anything tech related to it. Well, it actually might do have something tech related to it. But that's only if you are a fan of old cars. By old cars I mean old Mercedes's. They're not... I'm not talking about the 1980 era, but I'm talking about the 2000s era. And this piece is used to uh, protect the shock absorbers of my car. My car has the glorious ABC suspension or active body control suspension uh, 
they are struts filled with hydraulic fluid and those fluids are then used to dampen the ride so whereas a normal uh, strut contains uh, fluid uh, this car actively pumps fluid into the strut thereby it can control the ride height, the harshness of the ride and body roll and such and in order to protect the strut you all need to have these boots around the strut now previous time that I tried to replace this since mine was missing uh, I failed because of the subframe bushing that didn't come loose I still need to weld a nut to it that I can use to unscrew it but then the strut will come loose just enough so I can slip this over the top of the, the strut or the bottom I'm not sure actually yeah I think the bottom so that I can protect it against all kinds of dirt and such so it's uh, really nice that these are available from China actually since these are not sold as a separate piece at the dealer so the only way to get these is through China I'm really grateful to whoever this produces and produce this it's just a rubber boot but it's a really nice rubber boot and it fits perfectly the only downside being that you'll need to remove the strut in order to fit this so guys thanks a lot for watching this video I hope that you find this video useful please comment down below what you think I should do with this fingerprint reader and also comment down below um, if you'd like to see any uh, particular details of these modules tested so I can basically test those in the, ne the next video thanks again for watching this video and I hope to catch you guys pretty soon bye oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.